If you've learnt about Australian history at school, you might know that Aboriginal people occupied this land long before European settlers arrived in 1788. But have you ever stopped to wonder what the land might have looked like before European settlers arrived? Here is a modern photograph of a place called Mount Eccles in Tasmania. What do you think this land looked like when Europeans first arrived? What makes you think that? This is a painting of the same place made just after Europeans occupied that land in 1858. Can you see any differences? You might have noticed what seemed to be clear pathways on the land. Another difference is that you can only see young, regenerating trees in the foreground. Today, there are very tall and thick eucalypts growing. So if Aboriginal people lived in Australia for more than 40,000 years, why weren't the big trees there then? This is Professor Bill Gamage. He has trawled hundreds of paintings and records by European settlers and argues that by the time Europeans arrived, Aboriginal people were using fire to change the grass, scrub and the trees into useful patterns. This was called fire stick farming and the practice continues in many parts of Australia today. But why did Aboriginal people manage the land in this way? First, burning plants made sure that the grass, trees and scrub flourished in the right balance, but didn't overgrow to create the kinds of wildfires we experience today. By controlling plants, they made sure that the animals who used those plants flourished too. It also meant that they knew where the animals would be, so they could predict where to go and find them. But this was a careful burning regime. Thick and diverse forests, what we call wilderness today, were left alone because Aboriginal people knew that these were valuable ecosystems and habitats for animals. In other words, Aboriginal people weren't just guessing, but were carefully using fire to organise the country to make life abundant, predictable and convenient. The land was managed so well, in fact, that many of the first settlers wrote about Australia as though it were a park. Sidney Parkinson, a man aboard Captain Cook's Endeavour when it first arrived in Australia, described the land like this. The country looked very pleasant and fertile, and the trees, quite free from underwood, appeared like plantations in a gentleman's park. Can you think of ways that we manage the land today? <laughs>